Hello everyone, I'm High Definition Gamer bringing you another High Definition Gaming Experience. We're back with Hitman. We're going to do the elusive target number 12, the Identity Thief. And I was quite surprised when I saw this because we had one just a week ago, I believe it was. So, the way... I think the way they're doing it now is they're probably going to release one every week, seeing as the season's coming to a close. And uh, there's also going to be more DLC, and look at him. He he could not stand out more. He's got orange pants, white hair. That's wonderful. Um, let's actually take a look at all of the other elusive targets. Okay, we'll go this way. The Forger, he stands out fairly well. He's wearing an apron. He's got a beard. So I'm actually going to like rank them 1 to 10 for standout, like how much they stand out. So I would probably put him at like a 5. Um, I think I'd put him at maybe a 6 because he's got the hat. This guy definitely stands out well. Um, maybe a seven, a uh, six, a uh, four. This one is interesting because there it was twins, so I, I mean they both stand out pretty well at like a seven. But seeing as there's, you have to f figure out which one it was, made it a little bit harder. So I would give them both a seven. But then there's that factor of you have to find the watch. Gary Busey, you know, way up there. I'd put him at like a nine. This guy was bald with glasses. He stands up pretty well, maybe an eight. This one was uh, really difficult. I'd put him at like a one, I think. She stands out fairly well, maybe an eight. And I think he's a 10. He's got orange pants, white hair. I mean, you aren't going to find anybody else that looks close to him. And this guy's like a 6, maybe. Um, okay. Uh, I'm not sure why he isn't at the end, but that doesn't really matter. Let's take a look at the briefing. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Brendan Connor an IT billionaire who built his fortune on darknet identity theft. Despite remaining invisible for most of his career, Connor recently got lazy at covering his tracks in the run-up to a major operation in mainland China. Our client wants him gone to prevent this operation from taking place. Connor will be attending the Iago auction and has hired an escort to join him at the ground floor cocktail reception. Assume the target will be mobile, so locate him and improvise. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Okay, I like how they're making them a week long. Um, some people kind of cry about that, saying, oh, it's not exactly elusive, but who cares? <laughs> the fact that you only get one shot at it, kind of, you know, because uh, you can restart and whatever. But I think that's what the part that should be elusive. I think a week is perfect. And I think they're probably going to continue doing that. So then uh, until the season's up, there will always be an elusive target available for you to play. Because they're probably going to do them weekly. So it seems like he's in the bar area. Then he goes out to the statue, which is where the puddle is. Then he heads up to the Iago auction. So I think taking him out with the puddle is the way to go. Um, I like... I like these kind of elusive targets. They're ni nice and simple. I I kind of wish it was, was a little bit more difficult than just electrocuting him. But uh, I definitely prefer this over the last elusive target, which you had to get diamonds. And then you had to find the guy in the consulate. It was challenging, though. And uh, I got it done, but it, it wasn't a silent assassin, that's for sure. So, I'm not even planning on going up to the auction, so I'm going to bring in a pistol. And, um, let's go with the signature suit for this one. 
Um, I think all I'll need is a coin. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shoot the the plug to activate it because the only other way to do it is to get a tech tech crew disguise and a screwdriver. And I don't even know if you'd have enough time for that, so let's go with this. And we could even start at the statue. That might be the way to go. Because we're not sure how long it's going to take him to get there. Um, actually, let's, let's start at the main entrance because I want to find him. Which I don't think will be too difficult. Alright, let's try this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like for Season 2, they should make it so that they release an elusive target and then the time to start it is unlimited, but you only get one shot at it. I don't know. It's uh, it's tough because sometimes you Welcome just... Welcome to Paris, 47. The fashion event of the year has already begun. Intercepts place your target on site. It is highly likely that he will spend time at the ground floor reception area. This represents your best opportunity to acquire him. Good hunting, 47. Because I kind of... I like that it's every once in a while you get a new mission to do. But sometimes, like the last loser target and this one, I just didn't really... F I don't really feel like playing them, to be honest. There he is. He could not stand out more. So he has his companion. And I could try to stop her from getting there too quick just to avoid her getting electrocuted. But I think the way electrocution works is once one target walks into it, the plug like deactivates. So let's just try it, try it out doing it in this way. Now we have to get this plug on or off. Okay, the plug's already on. So we just have to shoot it. And I keep pressing Mafia 3 buttons, but, uh, <laughs> where is it? It's right there, okay. Alright, it's activated. Now... There is the factor of coin bounce. So, we might not get this the first try. So we basically just have to wait for him to come out, and we're going to hope that when we throw the coin, he's the one that's distracted and not his companion or another party attender here. I'm not sure how long it's going to take him to come out here, but we do know that he comes to the statue, so I think it's inevitable that he'll come here. Where should we throw this? Maybe right about there. Get it to bounce. Yeah. If we fail, it's no big deal. We can just retry. There he is, I think. I see the orange pants. And let's try it right about now. Huh? Perfect. And that's it. He's dead. Contract complete. Master Assassin. Not sure why we got that. So, I think accident kill, so we should be good. That should be a silent assassin. Wow, how long did that take us? <laughs> like 10 minutes? <laughs> Not even? I don't know, I, I like the simple targets like that. It's fun. Okay. Silent Assassin. Cool. 
185. We did it in 3 minutes and 4 seconds. Let's see how outrageous the top one guy got. 51 seconds. I don't even know how he did that. I, I really wish that there was a theater mode system that, so you could watch these speed run, runners because they're absolutely insane. CJ Fresh did it twice somehow. That must just be a glitch. Wow, so we did it as fast as I think I could do it. I mean, we could get it a little bit faster if we uh, started running away quicker, but... We did it, like, as fast as I could, and I... 171. Wow. People are good. Oh, look. Here we are at number 18 and <laughs> Mitt Omni. He's 253, so there's a shitload of people that got it around three minutes. So if I had just run a little bit quicker, I could, probably could have gotten below 100. Wow. Anyways, that w I enjoyed that elusive target. That was nice and simple. Um, I mean, I definitely probably could have found a better way to kill him. But uh, when that opportunity to get Silent Assassin is so easy I can't help but go for it even though there's no um, no really reward for getting Silent Assassin it's just something you do so uh, th after 13 we should get the 47 signature suit with gloves which will be cool that one will probably be my new favorite because I really like the tie the way it is and it's got the gloves with no holes in them. But uh, we did fail one so we might have to do 14. Um, but it did glitch out for me and I got the blood money suit at 10 so maybe the same thing will happen for 13. Yeah, that's... That's pretty much all there is. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.